All right, this is my continuing discussion of flow charting, and the next symbol we're going to present is the decision symbol. Now, we've got right here a starting point for our computer program, and then we take it over here to a decision. Now, let's say this thing, um, you put in a number here, and uh, you put in the number 4. Well, 4 is not 5, okay? So, if you put in the number 4 and it's not 5, then it will go over here and say, okay, it's not 5. So, and then this thing will say, okay, print the sentence that says, it is not 5. So, if you put a 4 in here, then this thing will say, it is not 5, and it will stop the program. However, if you put the number 5 in here, it will come over here and it will say, alright, this number is 5, and boom, it will stop the program. So basically, here it goes. Get your start. If you type in the number four, this thing will print a, print a sentence on the screen that says, "This is not this is not five, and stop the program." If you put the number five in here, it'll go over here and say, "Print the sentence. It is five, and stop the program." And that's how a decision symbol works. Okay. I will tell you more in my next video, so stay tuned.